Happy Friday, Bengals fans. Welcome into this edition of Bengals Breakdown, our typical Friday morning video. We're going to sit down and evaluate the injury report before this matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Philadelphia Eagles. Obviously a very crucial matchup for both ball clubs, uh, specifically with the Bengals trying to win three in a row and really kind of get back into the swing of things as far as the AFC North goes, kind of get hot here. They've played some lackluster opponents the past couple of weeks, and um, Philadelphia is certainly going to be a challenge for this Bengals team. Bengals pretty good on the injury report, which we'll get into here, and uh, a lot of Philly guys on the injury report, so we will break all of that down coming up here on today's edition of Bengals Breakdown. But before we hop into that, First, I want to remind you guys, I am doing a little uh, solo producing here on today's show. So if you see me look down or whatever the case may be, just trying to do multiple things here at once as we get through our episode here on Bengals Breakdown. But more importantly, our October like battle against our Ravens channel here less than a week um, before this battle wraps up. We have a pretty sizable lead, but I'll remind you guys in September down the stretch, we had a lead. And we fumbled it away on the last couple of days of the month. We don't want that to happen again here in October. So help us out. Like that video for us if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up icon. Something you should do for all of our videos here at Bengals Breakdown. And we certainly appreciate it. All right. First big name that we will talk about on today's show, Orlando Brown Jr. The Bengals calling it a knee on their um, injury report. Officially, that's what they said during the game. It was a knee, is a knee issue for Orlando Brown Jr., but then Ian Rappaport reported throughout the week that it was a calf issue. So I don't know what the um, kind of dispute is there between whether or not it is a calf or a knee, but regardless, it is a uh, you know lower extremity-ish injury for Orlando Brown Jr., and he's been limited Wednesday and Thursday. So you know the fact he doesn't have any DNPs in there the fact he's been out with this football team in some capacity gives me a pretty you know good sign that he might be out there on Sunday against the Philadelphia Eagles. Boy, could the Bengals use him. He's been really good, particularly in pass protection. As you can see with these numbers right up here on your screen right now, not quite as good in the run game. Grades out much lower in the run game, but regardless, he has made a massive jump kind of back to the player the Bengals were hoping he would be when they signed him last off season, and um, you know he's been a real great uh, piece for the Bengals holding down that left side of their offensive line. If he's not able to go, it's going to be Cody Ford, who doesn't have any career starts at that left tackle position. Um, you know, I've been pretty hard on Cody Ford. I'm not, you know, uh, I don't have the most confidence in Cody Ford when he steps out there on the football field, but got to give him credit. He did pretty good against Cleveland holding down that side of the line of scrimmage. Hopefully, if we see Cody Ford, it will be in a reserve role on Sunday, but that's going to be the guy to look for if Orlando Brown Jr. is unable to play in this game at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. Fingers crossed. Feels like we're in a good spot at this moment, having uh, practiced it, albeit in a limited um, capacity, the past two days. Um, so that is uh, kind of what we got there for Orlando Brown Jr. Speaking of Orlando Brown Jr., will he play on Sunday? Type Y for yes or N for no for us in the comment section of today's video. It is the pinned comment on today's show. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, that's totally fine. Hop down in the comment section. Take advantage of it. Let us know what you think. Type Y for yes or N for no. Next guy we'll talk about here is Trey Hendrickson. He popped up on the injury report. He did not practice on Wednesday, but it was just personal reasons. Not exactly sure what you know he's uh, dealing with, um, whether it's you know a family issue or what have you, but it was not a health thing for Trey Hendrickson, and he was a full go in yesterday's practice on Thursday. That's certainly a great sign. Uh, we, uh, we'll talk about here in our, um, uh, our preview video coming up out uh, tomorrow kind of matchup that Trey Hendrickson's going to have and going to try to be able to exploit for Cincinnati defensively. I'm looking for him to have a big game. And um, again, all clear with Trey Hendrickson. He was back in full on Thursday. Geno Stone, who we'll talk about now. Stone, of course, suffered an injury at the very end, kind of in garbage time against the Cleveland Browns. Um, of course, came in from the Ravens. Bengals signed him in free agency this offseason. I think he's kind of been a disappointment. I think it's fair to say that kind of, you know, how he has performed thus far. He did have a crucial interception last week that was um, big to see. 
dealing with that shin injury. Remember, he left in an air cast on a cart, so it looked really bad at first. But he returned to practice yesterday. Did not practice on Wednesday. Was limited yesterday on Thursday. And, you know, he's going to be in some serious pain throughout the week. But it seems like Zach Taylor has some optimism that he's going to be able to go out there and play football for this Bengals team this weekend. Um, look, he's your starter. He's a guy that, you know, you trust a lot. I don't think it'd be the worst thing if maybe he uh, got some rest this week and you turn to Jordan Battle, perhaps, uh, taking over that free safety spot. Battle, of course, typically plays strong safety. Maybe see a little Dejon Anthony out there as well. I don't think it'd be the worst thing in the world to have Geno Stone get some rest this week. But regardless, he practiced yesterday, and all signs are kind of pointing in the direction of him uh, probably being available to some extent on Sunday. We'll flip the script and talk about Philly here in a moment. But first, I want to give a shout-out to our sponsor today, and that is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best place to get real money sports action. With over 10 million members and billions of dollars in awarded winnings, Prize Picks has made daily fantasy sports accessible to all. You just pick more or less on at least two players for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Run your game all season long on Prize Picks. You can now win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in over 30 states, um, including California, Florida, Georgia, and Texas. Price Picks is the only real money daily fantasy platform with an injury insurance policy, so your lineups stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. So that's certainly some good stuff over there at Prize Picks. They invented the flex play. This is what my buddy Chris Daughtry put together uh, for his weekend Prize Picks flex play here. He's got the more than on Jalen Milrow passing yards as well as the more than on Ryan Williams receiving yards. Obviously, those guys need a big bounce back after their um, loss against Tennessee, second loss for Alabama this year. Also has the more than on Ashton Genty, over 193 and a half rushing yards, which is a ton. But in my opinion, Genty, that's the best player in college football, so I'm going with the more I'm tailing my boy Chris on that. Uh, Price picks, big, uh, big shout out to them. They are just absolutely phenomenal. Really appreciate all the things they're doing for us here at Bengals Breakdown. So download the app today and use code CLNS to get $50 instantly after you play um, your first $5 lineup. Again, that's code CLNS when you play five over at Prize Picks. It's Prize Picks. Run your game. All right. Let's talk uh, Philadelphia here on our show today. Saquon Barkley. Um, he was limited in practice on Wednesday just for rest purposes. And we'll do uh, here uh, live. Once we started our video, we didn't have the full injury report for De Philadelphia on Thursday. We still uh, do not. But, um, look, he's going to be totally fine. Just a veteran rest day, right, for Barkley. You know, he's uh, had some wear and tear, obviously, as they've gone throughout the season. Barkley is a significant issue for Cincinnati that they need to be worried about. No doubt about that. And, um Look, Saquon Barkley, when he's healthy, he's one of the best running backs in the National Football League. And again, he's been having a really good season so far for Philadelphia. So he's going to be a massive factor in this game. And the Bengals are going to have to do everything they can to try to slow him down in any way, shape, or form. So more than or less than 99 and a half rushing yards for Saquon Barkley. Be honest with us in the comment section right now, more or less. I don't know. The Bengals' run defense certainly has been better of late, but they haven't had to face a guy like Saquon Barkley yet. So Saquon Barkley, great football player. But again, an opportunity for you guys to sound off in the comment section right now. More or less than 99.5 rushing yards for Saquon Barkley. Darius Slay, again, another guy that uh, just got some rest on Wednesday. I would imagine he was uh, practicing on Thursday. Haven't gotten an update yet exactly from Philadelphia. He's their best uh, corner, no doubt about that. But the secondary as a whole, I think the Bengals, Joe Burrow, are going to have an opportunity to, you know, do some damage back there because I think um, that's kind of a weak part on their football team. I'm really expecting a big game at home from Joe Burrow and the offense. Now we get into kind of more of the serious injuries that Philadelphia is dealing with. Dallas Goddard, their tight end, did not practice on Wednesday or Thursday with that hamstring injury. He did not play last week against the Giants. And after those back-to-back -back DNPs, doesn't feel like he's going to be out there this week against the Cincinnati Bengals. 
Obviously, that is very crucial. Dallas Goddard's a really great pass-catching tight end. And um, in a lot of ways, I think he's their next best target after A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. Kind of the, you know, things that have been going on at the, uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles as far as Jahan Dotson goes. That maybe hasn't panned out exactly as they had hoped. So no Dallas Goddard is certainly uh, something that is very significant um, so far this week. We'll keep you updated on that if his status is going to change as we get a little bit closer to game day. Zach Bond, uh, the starting linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. He did not practice on Wednesday, but he returned on Thursday. So certainly a good sign for Philadelphia. He's a really good player. Um, again, starting linebacker for them. And it looks like he's going to be good to go um, in this game against Cincinnati, somebody that the Bengals, of course, are going to have to account for. Last guy here, Makai Becton. Um, he has not practiced Wednesday or Thursday. Um, got a uh, suffered a concussion against the Giants last week. So um, I, I doubt he's going to be ready to go again. No practice so far this week. He's a starter along the Philadelphia offensive line. So that's something the Bengals are going to have an opportunity to kind of exploit. Because remember, they are also without Jordan Mailata as well. as one of the best tackles in the National Football League. So some breaks there. Maybe the Bengals pass rush going against some backups will be able to make some noise as well. Also of note, Byron Young. Um, kind of a rotational guy, um, you know, along their defense, uh, defensive line, really. He has not practiced yet this week either. So um, probably going to be a lot of Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter, as you would expect. But Byron Young is the guy that usually fills in there, but he hasn't practiced this week. And um, I'd be surprised if we saw him on Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, we will be live here on Bengals Breakdown at noon for our a uh, watch party between the Bengals and the Philadelphia Eagles. Don't miss out on that. We've had a ton of fun in all of our watch parties up to this point. So hit that sub button if you haven't done so already. We will be live at noon. And uh, that, of course, is YouTube.com slash Bengals TV.